This whole Newcastle Rail saga has been really an incredible thing if you think about it. 20 years ago, the developers and their Liberal Party uh, friends in Newcastle started promoting an incredibly inane slogan about opening up the city to the waterfront. And they backed this with a fake solution. There's been a lot of fakery here all along. We've had fake liberal, uh, uh, liberal independence running for parliament, fake independence. We've had a whole series of, of corruption, uh, acts of corruption exposed. We've had a fake government department, the Hunter Development Corporation, which is basically the developers and some would-be developers rebadged as public servants. And, and lately we've had this extraordinary thing. We've had up in Newcastle a sort of Liberal Party hit team hired to carry out a war on social media against uh, our side. And it's involved a weird collection of pornographers and religious <laughs> nutcases staying up late at night fueled by coke and pizza and sending out and, and, and using and using fake and even stolen IDs to push their lines through social media. It's been an extraordinary thing. One of our members sent off an email uh, imploring the shooters and fishers not to vote in the upper house for this, uh, uh, for this legislation. And I think the, the, the response is very important. We should all take note of it, and I have sent it to the media. But this is the response, and it comes from Robert Brown. He said to uh, the Eco Transit member, Hi, Bob. Borsak and I lost a lot of skin forcing the government to hypothecate $400 million from the port sale for the rejuvenation of Newcastle. That deal included the replacement of the heavy rail with light rail right to the buffers and down the corridor, not via Hunter Street. We will now squeeze the government to honour that commitment as a matter of priority. We also reckon that most of the infrastructure can be supplied from or manufactured in Newcastle. Now there are a lot of implications to that. It implies that Mike Baird reneged on a deal that he had with the Shooters and Fishers to retain the corridor. It implies that they're going to vote against this legislation. Now, I'm not a fan of the idea of light rail down the corridor. It's a 15 minute time penalty on travellers. But think about this. If they stick to that line, if the Shooters stick to the line that they've now made public, then the whole scheme is at an end because the whole point of the whole point, uh, the whole thing of the truncation was to sell off the land. So the message I think for uh, Robert Borsak and Robert Brown is this. Guys, hold the line. Don't step back from it. Vote against the bill. 
History will look kindly on you if you do. Thank you very much. Thank you. Guys, hold the line. Don't step back from it. Vote against the bill.